Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Thanks for your encouragement and kind words. Remember, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. I urge you to also share the content of this channel. I want to use this video to go into the concept of deep fake or synthetic media. And I want us to examine the possible dangers. Just imagine you got up one morning and a video that you recorded of yourself has been shared with a group of individuals which you are a part of. As you watch the video, you realize that the audio is not yours and you are sure you did not see these words. The message in the video is promoting division in our society. It sounds like, of course, science fiction, but the reality is it is possible. I'm sure you have seen someone from your high school or social media platform looking as if they're still 17 or 18. As a matter of fact, younger than you are. The ability to modify and enhance one's image is becoming the norm for many people. The ability to do so is as a result of various algorithms. This form of modification can be classified as synthetic media or deepfake. For example, FaceWap allows you to switch faces with your friends and photos in real time. Synthetic media or deepfake is any digitally modified media derived using an algorithm. And the reality is access to these algorithms is easy. While synthetic media can be used to entertain such as seen in Star Wars, The Latest Jedi, which features various versions of Carrie Fisher, the flip side is that synthetic media can be used to create widespread disinformation and social unrest, which could be detrimental. So let's look at an example. In 2018 in India, a rumor of a kidnapping led to the killing of two people. This story is indeed sad since the original video was a child safety film filmed in Pakistan to bring awareness of kidnapping. Someone manipulated the video and circulated the video on WhatsApp. Panic took place and people attacked people who looked unfamiliar to their localities. We need to critically reflect on the impact of fake media forms. Someone could digitally modify the audio from my presentation and suggest I said something derogatory. This could of course ruin my reputation. Let me bring across another example. So let's say a leader who is running for an election has his or her voice and image manipulated by his or her competitor to say things that are divisive and simply hateful to voters. The intention of this manipulation is to sway voters. The reality is that deep fakes can be a threat to our democracy. Let us explore this example of deep fake where Vladimir Putin is warning Americans on election interference and increasing political divide. Everything here is fabricated. America, you blame me for interfering with your democracy, but I don't have to. You are doing it to yourselves. Polling stations are closing. You don't know who to trust. You are divided. There are strings we can pull, but we don't have to. You are pulling them for us. Here is another example of deep fake featuring King Jong Un. Of course, the message is the same as Putin's. Democracy is a fragile thing, more fragile than you want to believe. If the election fails, there is no democracy. I don't have to do anything. You are doing it to yourselves. People are divided. Reporting districts are manipulated. Many individuals saw this as real, and as a result, I'm sure you understand the impact. Synthetic media or deepfakes can influence people's political choices, impact organizational decisions, impact issues connected to social justice and inclusion, as well as impact the security of any country. In a world where people rely on various social media platforms for their news, 
the impact of deep fakes can be devastating. If these media forms are left unchecked, we will continue to see the proliferation of mistrust in our health systems, financial services, and of course, trust in humanity. Deep fakes can also result in identity theft, imposter scams, cyber extortion, and of course, money market manipulation based on fabricated daily events. In a world that likes and views have become the main aim of social media influencers, there will be an increase of deep fakes. Remember, there's also the concept of virtual influencers. These influencers are designed to have personalities aimed at improving audience retention. In summary, a virtual influencer is a digital character designed using computer-based graphics. Let us explore emerging technologies such as extended reality within the context of synthetic media. We must understand that synthetic media will impact, of course, extended reality. For example, having manipulated images connected to the real-world environment could become problematic based on its realism. Just remember, you could have manipulated words or images that seem so real to the user. In summary, the user will be unable to separate the physical world from the virtual world. Before developers move forward, there must be a framework for designing synthetic media within extended reality. This issue must be addressed with urgency by all governments. As institutions of learning become more involved in their use of technology, it will become important for these institutions to consider the psychological impact of using synthetic media. Safeguarding students and professors against deep fakes will be important for the future. Therefore, it is time for institutions to design policies associated with the use of synthetic media. I continue to advocate for a framework of responsible algorithms and AI, of course. This will be key for our own humanity. We should never allow synthetic media to be used as a deceptive tool to divide our society. The emergence of fake news is also continuing to be a problem. To combat these issues, governments must move quickly. They need to ensure that their citizens are also provided with the critical skills needed to evaluate all media forms. Please use the links in my description to gain a greater understanding of synthetic media. As I conclude, let me say that while there are benefits for using synthetic media form for cost-saving modes, designers of synthetic media must understand their legal and ethical responsibility for users. Again, I believe it is time for the creation of additional laws to address the abuse of such technologies. In summary, synthetic media or deep fake can be extremely dangerous in the hands of people with the aim of increasing society upheaval. If you have never given thought as it relates to synthetic media or fake news or deep fake, the time is now. We cannot allow ourselves to be deceived and to be manipulated by these artificial intelligence or powerful AI systems and, of course, algorithms, all a part of the same. We must advocate for our own stability because if these things are allowed to continue without any form of scrutiny, we are in a serious state. I want to say, think about it. Don't be manipulated. And I would say at this point in time, make sure that you are critically evaluating content. Thanks for listening. Please share.